Smart Hook right back with another video. Today we are on Tethered downgrading the iPhone 4. Um, yes, um, the requirements are you'll need an iPhone 4, GSM, if you don't know what phone it is, go to the back of your iPhone and when you see the model number, should if it doesn't show A1332, then that means it won't be compatible with your iPhone. Now next the next is you need an IPSW to downgrade with um, ranging from iOS 5.1.1 to 7.1.2 um, pl Pluvia, Pluvia, whatever you need to download that which Pluvia as you can see right there um, it has this, boom, 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 and yeah, the link in the description below, or you can just search that up, so yeah, if it's, and anyways, and you'll need, yeah, you'll need the 7.1.2, as like, right now the, and your IPSW to downgrade with, so, and once you've all had, have them, you don't have to put in the Pluvia, um, in this here, you just have to anyway. Now, oh, let's open terminal right now and do cd and insert the pluvia or whatever, whatever it says. This pluvia, whatever. And next of all, guys, all you need to do is to run the dash make. IPSW.sh so dot slash make underscore IPSW.sh now next do a space go on to all um, where you saved your IPSW and you do five um, whatever your iOS version you are going to restore in my case I did the 5.1.1 when I hit enter now it's going to say that it will download uh, the iOS 7.1.2 um, IPSW and then it will do this thing. But for me it's already downloaded so I'll just have to wait. And I'll show you the process because... Yeah, I'll just show you the process. And yeah. This is quite easy to do. And whilst you are doing that... Um... You want to put your device into recovery mode, so I'm gonna put in recovery. Uh, I mean DFU mode. Sorry. If you haven't put, if you haven't put your device into DFU mode, this is probably not gonna work for you then, because it has to do. If your thing has a broken home button, find ways. That will probably um, do like the few modes like that because I'm I'm not at the minute right now. <coughs> oh, sorry. So yeah, it, it depends depends on your PC um or MacBook technically on how fast it is and you know how fast thing is how. Hmm. The more faster it is, the more quicker it does. As you can see, mine is about to finish. There we go, and now it's creating the patched IPSW. Now it is on users desktop. So, wherever your um, IPSW location was, there is your patched IPSW. Now, mine is already in DFU mode, so I can go ahead and do dot slash restore dot sh. Give a space. Now, get my patched IPSW and just drag it in there. Next, click enter. And it's going to do its job. As you can see, this is going to pop up a few times. Just click. 
Oh. Now, this is going to show the sending restore. You can see. Yeah, this is so funny. You don't need to do this, I don't know why I'm doing this. So once it, uh, we should say, waiting for the device. Okay, let's stop it now. So it should show this, this, it just let it do its stuff. And whilst on your screen, I don't know how to um, do a camera. Let me see if I can do something. No, I can't really. Um, on your iPhone form, it should show Parrot Geek software with a parrot, and underneath will be the the restore process. So it's going to do its um, thing, and yeah, we'll see. You just finished, and it even says finished. Enjoy iOS 5.1.1. Now the screen might just flicker one time, one or a couple of times, but it's okay. And as you can see, the restore, yep, yeah, has just finished. And then the downgrade process on your iPhone is complete. So you can set it up, yeah. Stuff, it took pretty quick, technically, maybe less than five minutes. I mean, it took like two minutes or so, and it's already restored. But now, here comes the... Oh, I'm not actually going to do it, I'm just going to finish off here. But I'm going to show you now. So you've restored your iPhone. You played around with iOS 5.1.1, but then you, if you don't want it anymore, you, and you want to restore back to the stock iOS, here comes the part that you need to do. So you need to down, that's why the iOS 7.1.2 IPSW is actually required. Now once you restore to stock iOS, like iOS 7.1.2 through iTunes, it will go with recovery mode and it will be staying stuck. Try any application to exit recovery mode, it will go back to recovery mode. Now what you need to do, you need to do CD, Plovia Master, um, anyways, um, so you put, um, CD uses the, your Plovia Master, and then you want to do sl dot slash make IPSW.sh, you want to do the, um, iOS 7.1.2 IPSW, and you want to do reset, and you hit enter. Now it goes the same, um, now it goes the same technically with them, um, so as you can see then it will create, uh, I mean create, what am I even saying, oh. now create this thing, iPhone 3,1,7.1.2,2,5,7 restored the reset and VRAM, and that's what it, and you have to do the same like I restore like normally you're gonna have to then do restore dot sh and then put this one in once you restore to stock iOS and it's in recovery mode. Make sure your iPhone is in DFE mode. And that's pretty much it. That's how you untether downgrade the iPhone 4. That's it guys. I hope you like this video, subscribe, like, I mean, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you all.